Good morning children. Today we are going to read the lesson number 10 part 2. The Baji Prabhu and the memorable battle of Godke. Baji Prabhu the brave. The angry troops of Siddhi were fast galloping towards the Ghodkind Pass. Shivaji saw that it was impossible to reach Vishalgad before the enemy overtook them. He said to Baji Prabhu, Baji, this is a very critical situation. The road ahead is steep and the enemy is right on our heels. It is now impossible to reach Vishalgad. So, let us turn back and face the enemy. Baji Prabhu understood the great agitation going on in Shivaji's mind. The enemy was fast approaching the pass, the life of Shivaji and therefore Swaraj was in danger. He said, Maharaj, you must proceed to Vishalgad. Take a handful of soldiers with you. I shall defend this pass and will not let the enemy cross it. I shall lay down my life in defense of this pass. If need be, if I die, there will be many other bhajis to take my place. But no one can replace you. Our Swaraj needs you. The enemy will attack in large numbers. We cannot hold out against them with our limited force. Please do not wait. Go ahead. We shall stop the enemy at the entrance to the pass. We shall not let him advance till we know that you have reached Vishalgad safely. Baji Prabhu's brave words and his sense of loyalty brought tears to Shivaji's eyes. He was most unwilling to sacrifice this gem of a man for his personal safety. But he had no time to think, think of these things. He wanted to achieve his idol of Swaraj. He fondly embraced Bachi and said, We shall move ahead towards Vishalgad. As soon as we gain the fort, guns will be fired. That will be the signal of our safe arrival. As soon as you hear the gunfire, abandon the pass and follow us to the fort. Fort. Baji's defense of the Ghodkind Pass. So, Shivaji left for Vishalgad, leaving Baji Prabhu to defend the pass. Baji made a low bow to the proceeding figure of Shivaji Raja and then prepared himself for battle. He took a sword in his hand and stood at the entrance of the pass. He divided his company of soldiers into small groups and posted them at a suitable points. The Maulas took their positions and collected huge boulders and stones to be used as weapons. The Maulas across the pass were now a strong barrier in the path of the enemy. By this time, the enemy had reached the mouth of the pass and one could hear their war cries. Baji addressed his troops and said, My brave soldiers and comrades, be prepared. You may die fighting, but do not desert your post. Do not allow the enemy to conquer the pass. No matter what price has to be paid. So Baji Prabhu and his Maulad stood at the mouth of the pass, firm and fearless, awaiting the enemy. The pass was difficult to cross. They being only a narrow and a zigzag passage across it. At the other end, Shivaji Raja was speeding towards Vishalgad. The fort was still some distance away and it would take Shivaji Raja at least two hours to reach it. If Baji Prabhu could hold out for those two hours, Shivaji Raja would be safe. 